Hey guys, welcome back to Sin's Gaming Channel and welcome back to a new day and a new game. Today we're going to dive back in Warhammer 40k Rock Trader. Well, let's see. That seems all fine. Continue. Um, font size. Sure. Okay, let's accept. There you go. Let's see the graphics. I have to check. Graphics quality, frame rate limit 60, okay. So I'm gonna turn this one off. Turn this one on, so I'm gonna limit it to 60. FSR mode. If it doesn't have DLSS, I guess. Wait, can I just look like ultra? But off, on, high ultra, no, high, qu high quality, and everything else. Okay, apply. There you go. All right. Let's go. Scenario, main story. Difficulty, normal. Okay, we have... Ekata. Darius. Okay, this is like the arch type. Soldier, operative, and warrior. Okay, let's... Commissar. Oh, I mean, I mean, I'm gonna make Kaifa's cane. Let's make a new one. So, uh, Kaifa's. I don't know if there is. Uh, That could be Kaifa's cane. He's on a hive world. I keep bringing that up because he knows. He knows his way on the ground. He's a commissar. Uh, illustrious Glo glory. Feet of greatness. Yeah, I think a feet of greatness will be the one. Because he is even though not not uh, of his own will, but he will actually coercion. True intimidation now. I'll check now. Yeah, I think that's... No, I didn't... Okay, let's put this one.
Yeah. All right. What else is the? Okay, this is the next one. So I'm an officer. So I'm very good with weapons actually. Weapon skill. I'm very good with weapons. I'm okay with ballistics. Um, just a like. He's very charming. And somewhat intelligent, let's put it like this. Okay. I don't remember what the... It's like this, no? I think that's like this. Just double checking. Off us. I was totally off. I first can. Could you can understand my Okay, that looks right. Typhus Kane. I hope I can get a minion uh, and a follower who can, uh, can call Jürgen, who loves uh, Porno Slates and stinks to high heavens. If you don't know, know what I'm talking about, uh, if you're into Warhammer 40k, uh, absolutely read or listen to the um, Kaifus Kane series. It's among the best thing in Warhammer 40k. It also allows you to get an insight on the 40k universe from uh, in all manners and perspectives and factions and whatever. Excellent place for contemplation. The man who has approached you is gazing down at the depths of the vast temple on one of the lower decks. One of the best view of the cathedral from here. Mesmerizing, wouldn't you say? An impeccable manifestation of the God Emperor's sublimity. Because I fake it until I make it. That is the purpose. To inspire awe and reverence, for it is the duty of his servants to persevere in their tireless service until they are presented with the chance to give their very life for the master of humanity. 
Allow me to introduce myself. Kunrad Voitvir, Master of Whispers, in the employ of her ladyship rogue trader Theodora von Valencius. At your service. I haven't had the pleasure of speaking with you in person before. My regards, Master. Or should I say, von Valencius, scion of a blessed rogue trader house in the service of the Imperium. Perhaps this kinship came as a shock to you. Understandably so, given that all evidence of the connection was lost in the generations separating you and Lord Captain Theodora. It required no small effort on the part of a ladyship servants to discover and verify this blood tie, which has now made you one of the heirs of this dynasty. There is, and you will meet him soon enough. But of course, I have come to invite you to a meeting with Lady Theodora. I imagine you have many questions for your patroness, and I'm sure she has just as many questions for you. It is regrettable that you haven't yet had an opportunity to speak. It has been an arduous voyage thus far. The Lord's Captain and Master Edelthrad von Valencius are conversing on the observation platform. Let us join them there. I wonder why this is so washed out. I think uh, I look. I want to see if if it has anything to do with the. Okay, let me see. Now we know it has something to do with this. Let's see if we make ultra quality and add some sharpness. It's all it's washed out right away. Do you see this? This is not good. Let's see if I can make Let's see again with off. Yeah, this is day and night. FSR is really shitty. I have to change this. Okay. Let me see where I have to go. trophy rooms. Perhaps you would like to take a look around after your audience with the Lord Captain. That is a Lemon Ross tank. Lemon, Lemon, Lemon Ross. What's happening? Those are servitors.
Yeah, he's not kidding around. What suspiciously poor timing for such an accident. Servitors malfunction on the officer's deck at exactly the same moment when the rogue trader and their heirs are gathered here. I have blocked all passages between the upper and lower sectors of the residential decks. If this is a deliberate attack, it should stop the culprits from advancing their plan. All right. I'm afraid I must remain here. For Lady Theodora's safety, I have to oversee the execution of these orders personally. I hope you will have no difficulty reaching the observation platform on your own. It is just at the end of this corridor. Okay, I'm just gonna play. I'll only speak if there's something really that needs to be speak spoken about. Uh, otherwise, enjoy. The movie, I guess. Please. And please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.
kind of sucks that there is no voiceover for most of the text. <laughs> Alright, it's, it's weird that there is voiceover for the for the other guy, but not for him. And for the other guy, but not for anything else. He's strong. He just kicks everybody. Wow. I suffered worse. No. Men who have found themselves outside the boundaries of real space. Though such episodes seldom spill onto other decks. The castes are not working or have been sabotaged. Either the warp is toying with us or someone went to great lengths to cut the ship's communications. I will need a directional to the engineer engine here. Right before I can descend. I don't know what that voice is. <laughs> I imagine it will come some time before we no longer need them. Trust me, Cyphos Kane. This is hardly surprising for a crew of thousands. The low decks are a fertile environment for discontent and heresy. No matter how one tries to incinerate, any seed before it can take root. All it takes is a hint of warp influence to encloud the minds of normally obedient cattle. Well, maybe stop calling your man cattle. Or starters. Find the arch militant. That would be nice if there was like. The, show me the, the, the map. Okay. 
Wat? That's closed. That's closed too. Providence, you are alive and well. Always on time, huh, Conrad? The moment we finish chasing, the Riff Rev around the wreck will show up. Always just after the fighting's done. You can set your chronobite. Mort, pull yourself together. What did the Lord Captain send you to Chivia Salon? Chivia Salon. We are all done here. I'll report right away. I tried some experimental voiceover. Master Whispers, what is happening on my ship? The Voxnet is silent, the Voxmaster is not responding. Armed assailants have uh, stormed the officer's deck, and my arch militant just destroyed several more heretics on the way here. Is this a severe case of warp madness? Have some of my crew lost their minds and forgotten who they are and whom they serve? Report. I have not yet received word from the Engineerium regarding any Gallifield failures, but communications are were already unstable half an hour ago, and now they have ceased altogether. Whatever the cause may be, the consequences are spreading fast. I'm receiving scattered reports from the middle decks, and the only Vox cast from the lower base are one way heretical gibberish. That is the madness that the madmen have already reached the officer's deck, just as that outrage has planned in advance. Perhaps this is an organized mutiny. Mutiny? Who would attempt to mutiny here in the warp? Lunatics! Fools! Heretics! This ship houses thousands upon thousands of people. Pernicious thoughts and warp-induced delusions could have tainted any of them. It is a difficult notion to accept, but such risks are inescapable. Okay, I'm not gonna do this for long because I'm gonna screw my voice. Oh, I just imagined my voice. <laughs> this text. <laughs> so, I'm not a voice actor, so I have no idea. Improvised weapons. Tried to locate him, but the latest, the last thing known about the movement is that I have to transition like 18. Well, there we go. Seneschal, locate clusters on the sister of battle.
That sounds like Cypher's Cane. Oh no, a traitor. Who would I guessed? Who could have foreseen this turn of events? I am flabbergasted. Does this apply? Flabbergasted? I'm shocked and surprised. I'm pressing any key. Careful, careful, be gentle. Seriously, why is the tech why is the voiceover now but not before? And for that I need him breathing. Ah, you are back with us, I see. Delightful. You must have hit your head harder than I thought. No matter. Very little is required of you. Just your blood. Which you can either share of your own volition. Or I will spill it for you. We are in the anteroom of the war in chamber. This void ship's most hallowed vault. There, beyond those gates, lies the relic that gives Theodora all of her power. The sacred Warren of trade. Only one obstacle remains on my path to obtaining it. The gates of the chamber are guarded by the Sentinel, an ancient device that will only open the door to a true heir of the dynasty. I expected to do this part myself, but never mind. You will offer your blood to the Sentinel. On the contrary, the Warp's blessing has raised me too much above your kind, fond Valencius. The Sentinel refused to submit to me, but you can help. After all, isn't that what family is for? There's a good boy. Then go to the Sentinel the gates of the Warren Chamber and fulfill your destiny. I had hoped to feed Edelthrad to the machine. He is the one who caught Theodorus' eye, after all. But since procuring him has proved difficult, you will have to do. High levels of caustic humors. The subject is in a state of heightened stress. Do you require assistance? Request accepted. Initiating defense protocol.
Escort the child of the house to safety. Distance from the current location to the nearest arsenal. Initiating situational calculations. Temporary obnubilation following acute stress. Mobile unit of the Warren Sentinel standing by. Voxcast frequencies disrupted. Initiating setup. Establishing connection. Communication protocols breached. Signal latency assessment unavailable. Unable to establish two-way connection. Mobile unit of the Warren Sentinel, designed as a personal escort of the child of the house and a means of communicating with the rogue trader's subjects. Mobile unit standing by. Middle and upper decks. Assuming the probability of safe placement in areas of concentration of armed units, calculating. To prevent unauthorized units from breaching the warrant chamber, preemptive sealing must be initiated. The mobile unit will start executing the received order immediately after the safety of the warrant is secured. are you saying? Kunran? A traitor? <sighs> Indeed. Indeed. That is easier said than done, of course. But mm. you're in a bad way. I can treat your wounds. I have a Medicaid kit. And for the love of the throne. Now is not a good time to be walking around the decks without means of self-defense. Here. If such is the Emperor's will. Your Seneschal is always there for you. Let me help. That is a noticeable improvement. Now you're prepared for the trials ahead. The lower decks are teeming with heretics, instigating the rabble to revolt. But that is the least of our problems. The ship's enforcers are rounding up the scoundrels and suppressing the resistance. The situation on the middle decks is much worse, although strike teams have already been dispatched there. All communication with the bridge and the engineering bay was lost. So, 
Apart from scattered vox casts, we have no information to go on. But that is not the worst of it. All these jolts and shaking are most alarming. These are signs that the navigator and the master helmsman are having difficulty translating the ship out of the wall and into real space. I fear that they may have already lost control. We must reach the navigator's sanctum and get a handle on the situation. If we can manage that, some of all this vessel may yet survive. You sent me a Vox message. Specifically, a Vox cast on the officer's frequency, which I had the good fortune to receive. You mean to say you did no such thing? Warren Sentinel? The Lord Captain barely ever ventures down to the chamber, and I was at her side only once or twice when she did. And I did not see anything of the sort. The Warren Chamber is an ancient and rather sacred mechanism that the ship's tech priests treat with the utmost reverence. I assume that whatever it is that you did, you must have activated certain processes and caused the Sentinel to awaken. But then... Why did none of it happen when Lady Theodora did the same? Absolutely. Let us proceed. The Lord Captain is calling her crew to battle, which means the Vox networks are set up for broadcast transmission, not message exchange. Splendid. While the rogue trader inspires proper resolve to fight in her subjects, you and I shall prove that her trust in us is well deserved. Onward! You are my next offering! Close ranks! I'll turn you into corpse start! of this one. Victory is imminent.
Indeed. One fewer target. All right, I'm gonna stop here. I said not to make too long, and it seems like a good place to stop because we're entering a new area. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please leave a like, uh, leave a comment if you want me to continue this this uh, series. And yeah, I'll give you some time to decide. So cheers. <laughs>